Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Goofy Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and vinyl update for May 22nd, 2023. I have one VHS, four DVDs, and one vinyl record to show off. And this is going to be my final update video before I go on my birthday trip to Cleveland. And if you saw my community tab post that I did the other day, you probably might know about it. In which... I'm going with my mom and her boyfriend might be coming with us too, but that's still to be determined. It was we're leaving early Friday morning and then we're gonna be coming home on Sunday night and my birthday is on Saturday, but let's not waste any more time. Let's just get on with the update. So we're gonna start with the single VHS, which I got it yesterday at, a, at an estate sale. What's pretty weird about this is that on the top it's got the HBO video logo, but it doesn't have the title of the video itself. I thought this looked pretty interesting, so I decided to pick it up. Got it for only a dollar. And I do have a similar video from HBO video called the all-new Not-So-Great Moments in Sports, which is basically kind of like an edited version of this or something, but this is the original uncut version. And it's got the oversized tape reels. May 18th, 1988, so this tape just turned 35 years old a few days ago. So that's the one VHS I got recently. And now on to the DVDs, two of which I got, well, actually I got all these DVDs from two different Walmarts. I got two of them at the Deptford, New Jersey Walmart last Monday, May 15th. And then the other two I got at the Walmart in Somerdale today, which is the Walmart I usually go to. And I'll point this out right now. The first and third DVDs I'm going to show are the ones I got at the Somerdale Walmart today, while the second and fourth ones I got at the Deptford Walmart last Monday. This is a two disc set with two movies on each disc. Disc one has Airport and Airport 1975. Disc two has Airport 77 and the Concord Airport 79. This is the prequel to the 2009 movie Orphan, which I have that movie on Blu ray. And I did watch both that movie and this movie on Paramount Plus last August, well, to be more specific, I watched Orphan on my Blu-ray copy, and then I watched this movie on Paramount+. Plus. And while I thought the first Orphan was better, this was still a pretty good movie. This is a three disc set. This one has the unrated version of Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick Dark Fury. Disc two is the Chronicles of Riddick unrated and disc three is Riddick. And it's quite fitting I got this today because I got this just after I saw Fast X in theaters. Since Vin Diesel was in both the Fast and Furious and the Riddick franchises. And here's the last DVD for the update. Also the first Sean the Sheep movie on DVD, which that DVD is released by Lionsgate, while this one is from Shout Factory. And I actually still have not seen the first Sean the Sheep movie yet, so sometime I'm gonna have to watch both of them. And now here's the one vinyl record I got, which I ordered this from Amazon last Monday, May 15th, and I received it on Wednesday, May 17th.
Yeah, when I heard this came out, I just had to get it because I am a Muppets fan. And I believe this is supposed to be the soundtrack to the new Muppets Mayhem series on Disney+, Plus, which I haven't seen yet, but I do plan to check it out in the near future. It opens up like this. This is the main reason why I decided to do this update video on the tripod. This is a really cool looking record. It's a translucent purple vinyl record. And inside, before I forget, speaking of the Muppets Mayhem, it actually comes with a little ad for that show now streaming on Disney Plus, which I've heard pretty good things about, so I'm gonna have to check it out sometime soon. There we go, I finally got it back in. And that's gonna do it for this VHS DVD and vinyl update for May 22nd, 2023. And this is gonna be my final update until after I get back from Cleveland. And if I do get any physical media while I'm on my trip, I'll have another update when I get back. But that's gonna do it for this update. This is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.